It is scientists, not warriors, who give the world one of its worst nightmares of the 20th century. They tap the most fundamental source of energy, the atom, to produce a weapon that is so destructive that it is used only twice, once on Hiroshima and once on Nagasaki. The destruction is so vast that the Japanese immediately surrender. But the scientists, driven by the politicians and the military of both the U.S. and Russia, press on. The hydrogen bomb supersedes the atomic bomb, first developed by the Americans, then by the Russians, then by Great Britain. Though no one can imagine using these weapons, they become the hallmark of world power status. Soon France and China have their own, and every ambitious industrialized country in the world sets their sights on nuclear capabilities. In the meantime, practical means to employ atomic power are developed. The results are uneven, and several disasters in Great Britain, the U.S., and Russia prove that no use of atomic power, even for peaceful purposes, can be without risk. <laughs>